right. What do you think of this SmackDown show on Friday night? Um, what did I think of the SmackDown show? It was it was all right. I didn't like I, you know, I I was surprised Daniel Bryan and Cesaro did a four minute match. I don't know why you would put those two guys in the ring for a four minute match. I just don't get it. Um, and Daniel Bryan, I mean, he's just it's so funny watching Daniel Bryan and Edge. You know what I mean? Because it's just like, you know, they're both in creative, and one guy, who's the, the young guy, is the one who's putting everybody over, and the older guy, you know, and it's there's, there's nothing wrong with Edge main eventing WrestleMania, to me, or winning the Royal Rumble. The problem is, is that there's too many edges and not enough whatever. I mean, when in the Observer this week, you know, I went and compared. It's scary when you compare who's on AEW television in their ages and who's on WWE television in their ages. I mean, well, more. I was more like the Royal Rumble. Um, you know, the Royal Rumble, the average age in the Royal Rumble was 39. The average age in that uh, AEW Battle Royal that they just had on Wednesday was 29. Um, the Royal Rumble had two guys under 30, which we talked about before, which was Otis and Dominic Mysterio, who were in the ring a combined less than three minutes a w i mean just one guy after another you know you've got jungle boy who's they're trying to make into a star mjf who's you know a, a key star one of the top heels in the company um just dar you know dar well darby wasn't in that that match but um just well you know the freaking top flight 19 and 21 private party like 23 and 26 and you know, all of these guys, and the reality is, is like none of these guys would ever be on the WWE main roster because they take so long to bring people there. And when they bring them there, you know, very few of them really get a chance. And, you know, um, but it's, it's, they don't have that element of youth on the WWE television. And um, that you want a little bit of everything. You know, you want, yeah, maybe they're green, but you, you want a little bit of everything. Um, and, um, you know, that's, you know, if you look now, granted, you know, things will happen, but, but, um, you know, I, if you look at the rosters that, that both companies have and you, you fast forward 10 years with these current rosters, I mean, as I was looking at this and going like, you know, cause I don't know about Dominic Mysterio. I don't have faith in them making Dominic Mysterio a star. He, they may, he is young. Um, Otis, to me, is, you know, he was a guy who had a little hot run, and, and I think he's already fading. And um, uh, what was I say? The, um, you know, but when I look at AEW, you know, it's like Jungle Boy's going to be a big star in 10 years. I think Top Flight, I think those guys have a chance to be the best tag team in the world in 10 years um private party has a chance to be a great tag team in 10 years and they're certainly grooming them they're putting matt hardy with them they're trying to have them work with top guys same with top flight you know experienced guys and th and, th and things like that um mjf goes without saying you know you look at them in 10 years and and they they could be the biggest stars in the business and you know i mean there's obviously a lot of other factors involved but when you you know it's it's striking the difference when you put it on paper and actually examine it it like really hits you like holy shit there is a big difference even though AEW's got Sting and AEW's got you know a lot of you know Eddie Kingston's not young um 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 you know Omega's 37 which is an old old Jericho obviously 50 um and um you know a lot of you know Daniels is 50 but but Daniels is not pushed as a top guy, and his his storyline and his gimmick is of a 50-year-old. And that's fine, too. You know, it's like you just don't want a whole company filled with them. Um, Lance Archer's in his 40s. Um, I mean, it's... it's um, but you just don't want, like, like I said, you don't want a company where you don't have any youth. Um, so that's... But yeah, man, like half the... Almost half the Royal Rumbles over the age of 40. Not quite half, but almost. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. 
the 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.